Hi everybody, I'm Dave Yelovic with Homes Built Right. Recently I recorded an online class about the electric code. Uh, what you're about to see is a quick excerpt. Uh, I've focused in on two things in the 2020 NEC. It's about ceiling fan boxes and uh, boxes and ceilings that will hold lights. Uh, home builders, you might want to pay attention to this because it could end up costing a lot of money. So sit back, we'll be right back. So another new in the NEC. This is, uh, I saved this one for last because this is probably the most complicated one, but yet it's so simple, but it may affect a lot of people. It affects this, forever and ever, We've had little boxes up in the ceiling. That could be for a light, could be basically for lights, but uh, boxes and ceilings. The 2020 NEC has revised the whole section about boxes and ceilings that some people are gonna, again, I'm just bringing you the message. I don't know how this is gonna shake out, but this is what the code book now says. Here's the actual wording. In sections 314.27, have your electrician look this up have a discussion on how you're going to comply with this. 27A2, the first part of this, talks about sealing outlets. Okay, that's, they're not plug-in outlets. It's the box that will eventually hold the light. It says every outlet used exclusively for lighting, every, meaning every room and hallway, everywhere, boxes shall be required to support a, a luminaire, a light, weighing a minimum of 50 pounds, okay? They're assuming big lights, 50 pound lights. It's kind of like a big ceiling fan, but it's most of them are already rated for this. And I'll show you some examples in a little bit. But notice they also say in the code, boxes shall be marked. A lot of boxes I see now don't have a stamp on it and says this box good for up to 50 pounds. They may say it on the box they're delivered in, but it's not stamped in the plastic. And the code is very specific that this is supposed to be on the box itself that's up there so an inspector can look at it and see what it's rated for. Because you can't look at a blue plastic box by itself and know how much it's supposed to support. So that's the start. So ceiling, everywhere in the house it says blue plastic box. So what are some of these things? And here's some, I went to a big box store and just took pictures. And here's some, a very basic box, and some bigger, heavier boxes. But they all say, if you were to look, 50 pound light fixture, okay? So all of them are rated for up to 50 pounds, but when I looked at them in the box, when I looked at the actual fixture, nowhere on it did it say, this is good for up to 50 pounds. So that might have to come around. Um, maybe a different manufacturer might have it on there, but this manufacturer at Big Box Store X didn't have it on there, but they are good for up to 50 pounds. So that's good. So that's lights throughout the house, so up to 50 pounds on the box. Now it gets a little quirkier. Here we go. Just below that section, let's talk about what the code says. Way in the definitions at the beginning of the book, they've changed the definition a little bit for habitable room. It starts off kind of like before. A room in a building for living, sleeping, eating, or cooking. So I'm thinking family rooms, game rooms, uh, bedrooms, kitchens, dining rooms, breakfast rooms, or cooking, that's, you know, kitchen. And then it goes on to say this, just to clear it up, but excluding bathrooms, toilet rooms, closets, hallways, storage, utility spaces, similar areas. So I'm kind of focusing on these livable room things, okay? Because remember the words habitable room and the definition, because here's where things get weird. In another section, just below the one we read, this is in 314.27C, so we read from A, so now we're in C, and it says, outlet boxes mounted in ceilings of, what? Habitable rooms of dwellings, and here it says, in a location acceptable for the installation of a ceiling fan, ceiling suspended paddle fan, shall comply with one of the following, and then it gives a list, listed for the sole support of ceiling suspended fans, ceiling fans. And later on it says, you know, should hold 70 pounds, minimum of 70 pounds. That's a ceiling fan box. So what does this mean? So it says where a location is acceptable for the installation. So 
we've always, you know, the one in the middle of the room, no doubt, in the bedroom, a family room, a game room, we've always made that a ceiling fan box for the most part. But now, what if we have a can light, in my, in my opinion, doesn't meet the rule for this because the can light is its own assembly and it doesn't have, and you're not gonna hang a ceiling fan from that thing in the future. So that doesn't count. But we have these things that look like, like can lights. Uh, disc lights is what some guys call them. Disc lights are attached usually to a small blue box up in the ceiling at rough. And we might have four, six, eight, ten in some game rooms and other things. And I mean, we get crazy with these things, but they're all attached to a blue box. So it says locations acceptable for the installation of a ceiling fan. That, yes, all those boxes, if they're far enough from the walls, could eventually take a ceiling fan. It doesn't, don't put logic into this. Who would put 12 ceiling fans in a game room? Nobody, but they're not taking that into account. They're just saying, if it's possible, it shall be able to hold the weight of a ceiling fan. So think about that, up to 70 pounds. Now it does say in their illustrated version of their, remember that book I mentioned, the, the uh, book about the changes in the code, they show a picture and they show track lights, you know, a track light thing, 12 inches from the wall. Obviously that blue box that controls that track light, that's too close to a wall. A ceiling fan isn't gonna work that close to a wall. That's what they're using for this acceptable for the installation. That close to a wall, that's not acceptable. But anything in, if you could put a 36 or 42 or 48 inch ceiling fan on that box, you know what some people do. After they close, they could do this. So this is the new wording. How many ceiling fan approved boxes are you gonna have to put in habitable rooms to comply with the code? So again, I don't worry about bathrooms or the kitchen or the hallways, the utility room. Remember the habitable rooms that we just discussed in the definition. So here's the things that we have. They, again, at the big box stores, we're gonna have a ceiling fan box. This is what you see. You know, there, it's for the sole purpose of a ceiling fan. And if you look on it, it's no coincidence, maximum ceiling weight, ceiling fan weight, 70 pounds. So the manufacturers know, and this has been written into the code, so 70 pounds is the threshold that they're using for this thing. So up to 70 pounds. So in my game room with 10 can, you know, pretend can lights, the disc lights that are mounted on a blue box, now do I have to use these? Uh, maybe per what the code says, yes. So talk to your electrician. How will you comply with this brand new wording in the 2020 NEC? I hope you enjoyed that quick video about the 2020 NEC. How will you comply with those two paragraphs about uh, boxes up in the ceiling for lights and the ones, little heavier ones for the ceiling fans? It's a lot to take in for the 2020. Uh, I'm Dave Yelovic with Homes Built Right. I uh, hope you'll hit the like button at the bottom of the screen. Uh, subscribe to our channel so you uh, catch the new videos as we put them out. And uh, we'll see you on the next Homes Built Right.